Hey guys, Terry here. I was um, cleaning up a little bit of my craft room and I realized I was um, deciding to sort through all my um, let's make art boxes. Um, I have four months worth now and um, I was getting quite the little stack here so I thought well I can combine these into uh, one big box and realized that I hadn't even opened up the November one. It's January 3rd. Um, I have not opened up the, the November one. So um, I think with the holidays and everything getting busy, I got it in the mail and uh, just didn't even deal with it. So I started painting. I made the first thing. I've watched a lot of her other videos and I just haven't made myself do these. So um, this is the monthly kits and they come with the project and then paints. There's always just something fun. Um, she's got beautiful paints. I'll put a link to their website, but I think what I'm going to do is write on here that this was November, just so I keep the colors straight. November 19. And um, this November set had this. Which, this looks so complicated. I've watched the video, and she does it so quickly. Um, so i got to try that one. This one is a night smoky sky. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Love these feathers. Like I said, I'm good at watching the videos when she has them come out. Um, her name is Sarah Cray. And the stuff is just gorgeous. So I'm going to get better at using my paints here. I've just got to. So um, I'm combining the boxes to make room in my craft room. And um, you can subscribe to their monthly kits. And um, I mean, they've just always got something new in the box. There's just always something fun and exciting. So this month it was paints in a hard form and then you use those in your palette. So I haven't watched the videos for those yet. But yeah, I've got the paints coming in. I've got the... Um, you buy their uh, trays and paintbrushes separately or you can use what you have. Um, she likes to, Sarah likes to put the paints into a tray and then it gives you more freedom to mix them up and everything. So she's so interesting to listen to. And really a good instructor. The bicycle one, I'm embarrassed to show you what it looked like. <laughs> Here was the wall one. I think the other thing is that you do them and then you have to step away and then you come back to it. Um, I think I have to learn like when to let something dry because it's just kind of bled and got muddy. Um, and they give you several pieces of paper to try it. So you got I think you got to try it once and then uh, get better as you go. So as with anything, practice makes perfect. Look at the kitty cat. It looks so complicated, but she really shows you a great way to do it. So this is the October set. That was the one that I did. Look at that moody sky. And then a rooster. So they're really cute. Um, I bought some watercolor paper too, but they do give you um, plenty of paper in the sets. So I think I'm gonna store those in a new situation and get rid of all the boxes. Um, I like that the boxes come in a sturdy, fashion each month, but I just want to have the kits. Um, this month we got a little sheet of um, these watercolor paints, so it didn't say what it was for, so maybe she's going to have a video explaining that. And again, they're just, their packaging is so cute and inviting and inspiring. Um, I would just say that if you do every month, 
it's almost overwhelming. I mean, you have to decide that you're going to treat it almost like a class that you're going to um, paint something every week. I mean, it's the only way I'm going to get better at it. Look at that one. Just gorgeous flowers. I like it because it's a lot of different subjects. So I'll have links on my website. But I wanted to tell you that I am just kind of cleaning up the craft room and combining those sets and kind of making a verbal commitment that I'm going to do more this year <laughs> with it. Thanks, guys.